Is it just me or Love Games is getting better and better per episode? Welcome to Love Games Live with me, Kazia, Chi, and Lulu. We hope you've enjoyed tonight's episode and found it as entertaining as we did. Yeah, now what I'm finding interesting about tonight's episode is we're finally seeing the results of the risky choices some of our characters made earlier on in the show. And mm -hmm. we're also getting more insight into sexual networks and how they are connected even when you don't realize it. Yep, what goes around comes around. I mean, where mm. to begin? The implications of Mimi's sexual network, mm. which we did talk about uh, in some episodes back, if you do remember. Now, it's getting even more intense because she gets beaten up. Wow. And then she gets fired for that leaked sex video. As for Tamara, well, she has to deal with the fact that her husband's girlfriend drops the baby off at her home. Now, if you do remember, Tamara was the one who was so adamant in not using condoms in their marriage now. And clearly her husband has been sleeping around with other women and not using yeah. condoms, mm -hmm. which of course has put Tamara at risk of contracting HIV. I think for me, the most shocking is Farida dropping the baby off at Hamonga's place and Tamara standing right there and seeing it all happen. What a heartbreaking situation to be in. Well, let's see how Tamara reacted to the situation when talking to her girls. There I was, being a good wife. What's the whole point of being faithful to someone? Yeah. I was being a good wife and all along he was cheating on me. <laughs> you know, if men think they can go around sleeping all over the place, women can too. <laughs> well, as we can see, the girls were just as shocked as we were oh, to shocked. find out that Hamonga is actually the father of Farida's baby what? and has been sleeping around. In fact, let's take a look at this sexual network. Wow. What's interesting for me is how Tamara is reacting to all of this. With Mimi and her behavior, the way she talks about men and sex, you're kind of not surprised when you take a look at her sexual yeah. network. But with Tamara, we have seen her as this dedicated wife and mother, someone who's quiet despite her husband's uh, suspicious behavior. Right. And um, really, she's proud of her moral values. You know, but now she's starting to think otherwise. And when we take a look at this diagram, I really hope it's not too late because she might really have been exposed to something or other. Yeah, I mean, when you think of her line, what's good for the goose is good mm. for the ganda, I think what she was trying to say is, why should I stay faithful when my husband isn't faithful to me and isn't making me happy? If he can do it, mm. why can't I? Kazi, what would you do in this situation? Oh. You know, Chi, I can really see why Tamara is thinking the way she is. I mean, why work so hard to make a relationship work when the other person is not even appreciative and goes on to cheat on you behind your back? Mm. I can really, really, really feel bad for Tamara. No, exactly. I know. And I know a lot of people out there have different opinions about Tamara sleeping with Julius. Mm. Uh, but at least they did use condoms. So they were responsible enough to think about their health. But I can't help but feel sad because this actually shows that Tamara's family is falling apart. It's sad, but uh, what's really important for her and many women that are just like her or in her situation is to think about the relationships that they are in and what it means in terms of the risk to their health. Yeah, because where emotionally, whether Tamara decides to remain with Hamonga, leave him or cheat on him, that's a decision that she is going to be faced with. But no matter what she decides, her health is at the center of this because HIV, without her even knowing it, might already be part of their network. Look, another perspective to look at it from is Hamonga's perspective because clearly some of the choices he's made are beginning to catch up with him. Yeah. I mean, he chooses to have sexual relationships outside of his marriage and now risks losing his family because of it. You know what I ask myself if men like Hamonga really think that they can go an entire lifetime leading a double life. They've got to know that something, something eventually is going to come out like that. 
Okay, it's definitely something to think about mm. when you choose to have more than one sexual partner. The questions you have to ask yourself is, are you willing to lose one relationship for another? I mean, in this case, are you willing to lose your wife so you can have a girlfriend on the side? And what kind of risk are you bringing home to your wife and children? And it doesn't even really seem like Hamonga realizes that Farida has other men on the side. There he is thinking that he has Farida all to himself when Farida has been sleeping with the judge with no no signs of condoms anywhere. The thing about sexual networks is that people like to pretend as though you're not involved in one, like Tamara, until something happens that reveals the truth, but it might be too late. So you know what I really think we all need to do? We need a wake-up call and make healthy choices like using condoms, staying faithful, and abstaining altogether before it is too late. Indeed, I mean, in this episode, we find out that Womba is HIV positive. Now, we don't know much about her story, but I think it's a very interesting introduction into the storyline. Now, HIV does not just happen to certain kinds of people. It can happen to everyone and anyone. And reason for this is because of these complex sexual networks and lack of condom use. For me, I think it's best to stay happily with one person. I mean, anything more than that is just not worth the extra complication. Well, no complications for me either. So now it's time to catch up with Lulu and find out her take on this. Thank you, Kaz. Yeah, for me, what comes to mind is this is exactly a good example of what we have spoken about before. Anyways, let's get talking. Let's hear what you would do in Tamara's place. Simply like our Facebook page, Love Games Live, or follow us on Twitter. We want to hear what you have to say. On that note, I'd like to congratulate all the winners that have won the exciting Love Games prizes by simply taking part in the love test and being the 20th correct answer. Please continue to take part in the love test. In today's love test question, why is Tasheni especially worried about Hamonga cheating on Tamara? A. He isn't using condoms. B. He's hurting her feelings. C. He isn't being a good father. Text your answer A, B, or C to 7233 to stand a chance of winning some cool prizes. Remember, every 20th correct answer gets you to win. So make sure you keep those answers coming in. From us in studio, it's been awesome. Let us keep talking and let us make Zambia an HIV-free nation. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Activate. Bye.